Hello lovely people and welcome to Mumba's Insights. Have you ever had an up close encounter with a giraffe? Well, this is what Giraffe Center in Nairobi, Kenya offers to us tourists with the combination of a wealth of knowledge about this animal. So today I am visiting the Giraffe Center in Langata, which is home to the Rothschild Giraffe. Hey, I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, I must confess that I know so little about giraffes and this trip is going to be fruitful in that I'm going to learn a lot about it. And well, you should know that there are various types of giraffes which I didn't know because they all look the same but anyway just like human beings they are obviously different as well. Here we are now at the giraffe center and just going through some security protocols as we now head to make our payments and proceed into the center and as we just uh, enter the sanctuary we are welcomed by an educator who hands me some food pellets to feed the giraffes This sanctuary has 11 giraffes in total. The main program of the center is to breed this endangered Rothschild giraffe into various national parks in Kenya. Normally when the calves are two to three years old, when they are more independent to survive, they are released into the world. Each giraffe has a name and interestingly, from 2017 the naming process was changed to using Kiswahili names of flowers and trees which they give to the giraffes. So you'll find that uh, female giraffes are named after flowers while the male giraffes are named after trees. This is because uh, flowers and trees represent femininity and masculinity nature of the animals respectively. Some of the notable names given to the giraffes are Betty, Daisy and Kelly. So the first giraffe I got to meet is called Daisy. With her, one needs to be very careful where you stand as she is known to head back against guests. She particularly doesn't like children, but they say she's quite a darling, just choosy about who she shows affection too, which is mostly to others. You don't throw. All the time. On the tongue as it goes No. Oh, yeah. It's not Please. It's not my fingers. So what? It will not bite you. Bye. Ah, do kill it. Do kill it. Oh my god, it's not as easy as it looks. I was really, really scared to feed the giraffe. But anyway, let's see how it goes. Anyway, back to the names. So we also have Betty, who is named after the founder of this center. And Betty is the oldest of the tower who at 17 years. She is a wild girl at heart. So at the center, Warthogs are considered the supporting cast to the giraffe. They tend not to be as stately or as gracious as their taller counterparts, but the center is their home too. So they also feed on the pellets and it was just interesting to watch them kneel forward, twisting and turning their heads on the ground to chew up the food up. Well, let me see if I can feed this other giraffe. I'm told she is called Kelly. Finally. <laughs> Kelly is the tallest of the females. The educators say it's food for friendship with her, so you had better have some pellets in your hand when she comes up to you. 
Well, let me give you a little bit of background about the Giraffe Center. It was started by a Kenyan citizen of British descent called Jock Leslie Melville with his American-born wife Betty in the 1970s. So they started the center after discovering the sad plight of the Rothschild giraffe, a subspecies of um, the giraffe found only in the grasslands of East Africa. So their first effort was to save the subspecies, which was to bring two young giraffes, Daisy and Malon, to their home in Langata, where they raised the calves and started a program of breeding giraffes in captivity. So this is the same place that the center remains today. During this tour, I was told that there are now over 300 Rothschild giraffes which are safe and breeding well in various Kenya national parks. Unfortunately, it's now time to leave and um, I'm just grateful to the educators at the center that I have learned so much about giraffes, most especially their personalities, and I'm glad I overcame my fear of feeding the giraffe. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Natotela asante sana.